Brandy River has been experiencing strange activity at home. It isn't often the case that she's able to capture these odd occurrences on camera, but a few days ago, she was able to capture the following incident. Both Brandy and her sister were talking on the couch when they heard a strange noise come from one of the rooms. Her sister then decides to investigate the sound as Brandy records her. This is what she caught. Girl, there ain't nothing back there, I'm telling you. The light just went out. Nothing back there, right? I told you. There's never... Oh my God! Oh my God! Now on a different occasion, the same thing had happened, but this time, it was Brandy who checked out the noise. Now these two incidents are just one of many. However, on another occasion, something downright creepy was caught on camera. Brandy had just arrived from eating dinner with her children when she noticed that the light to the room was on. This is what was caught. So me and my kid just got back from eating dinner and my bedroom light is on, which is strange because I don't remember leaving it on. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, I want you, oh my god, somebody broke into her. There appears to be someone or something inside the bedroom. Eventually, Brandy goes inside and finds nobody in there. To this day, Brandy has no idea as to what she had seen, but given the other incidents, she thinks that this might be something paranormal. She has yet to post more videos on her situation. Until she does, these happenings will continue to go unexplained. As always, feel free to let me know what you think. After noticing a jelly-like substance on her car after a strong rain in Malaga, Spain, a woman proceeded to record the video that you're about to watch. Pay very close attention. A ver, eh, esto es granizo porque esto tiene pinta. Y se queda tira. Mira, o sea, esto es granizo. Es que tengo todo el coche igual. A ver, dice. Some people on the internet are saying that this has to be some sort of black goo type substance due to the fact that this is not the first time or not the first video where something like this actually happens. This, for instance, is another video. Check this out. This is literally the weirdest thing. Okay, it's 65 degrees, so y'all know it's, it's too warm for snow and ice. And it was not like that last night. This chemical residue is from the rain, y'all. And it's so bad, like it doesn't even want to come off my car. Like what are they putting in the air? It's so like, I don't know what it is, but it, it doesn't wipe off with the windshield wiper. It just smears this weird frosty waxy looking stuff into the windshield. Like it's not coming off. You hear that? I'm going to have to scrape this off for real, like with a little brush or something, because it's not coming off. What is in the rain, y'all? The YouTube channel Project Amber follows the travel exploits of a British guy named CJ and his dog Lance. Basically, CJ travels to bizarre and remote locations all over Europe and camps there in his van for several nights. Project Amber is a very entertaining travel channel, but is not paranormal in the least. In fact, there's not one video on the channel that contains anything remotely supernatural. Except for this one video. CJ is camped out in a very remote area of the French countryside. He's trying to fix his camper fridge when suddenly his dog Lance, who is just off screen, starts to act very strange. Right. Now I'm sure with house fridges you're supposed to... Yeah. Right, so I'm pretty sure with a house fridge, if you move it, you're supposed to leave it like 12 or 24 hours though. I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think, to... Uh... What are you looking at? You keep freaking me out, dog. There's no one over there. <laughs> Can you 
you seen some of them now? CJ then reveals why the dog's behavior is giving him the creeps. There's actually a well, just where I'm parked, you go down this little track, and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was gonna go and park there, and I saw the well, instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I, don't know, I think it was about 10 when it came out, scared the sh out of me. For like a month I didn't sleep properly. And now the dog keeps looking over in that direction at where it is. So I'm like, nah oh, mate, I might move. <laughs> But I can't. That evening, as the sun begins to set, things get even more bizarre. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago, I could hear like really loud moaning, like, Aah! like just booming across the mountains. So I've come down to where I could hear it. Uh, I got to this old well, and it stopped. I mean, that thing's wild, freaky. It's like something out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything, it's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk, uh, no shoes, and no hair. So I said bonjour and that, and she re responded. Um, I asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then, she just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and then thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is, and that goes to the road. But down where she went that way, there's nothing, and there's nothing for miles. Where did she go? I'm gonna leave. CJ says that his dog Lance usually happily runs over to meet new people, but the Spaniel wouldn't go anywhere near the bizarre bald girl. A little later, CJ spots the girl again. He records her in the distance, aimlessly walking through the countryside woods. CJ says that he saw the girl again later, but didn't have the chance to record. Uh, I saw the girl another two times. The last time I was near the van and she was running through the forest. And with that, CJ has had enough. He just gets out of there. I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now. But I left. I was gone. I was gone so fast. I didn't even pack the van away. Um, yeah. It's a pretty big mess in here. So, did CJ have a run-in with a ghost in the remote French countryside? Let me know what you think. Flender man, Flender man, tall and gray. Flender man, Flender man, come and play. Ah, oh, is that a spider? Okay, I said it. I said it. Turn around and the Flender man. Turn around and the Flender man should. Oh, should be behind me. Well, I don't see no Slender Man. No. What the fuck? Hold up. What is that? Ah! Oh god, no, 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 no! Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no! Oh! oh. Did you guys see that? I'm not joking! There's something in the woods! Oh! No, no, my dagger! My dagger, my dagger. Oh. Oh. Shit, I swear I saw something. I think I'm just overreacting. I saw the tree and I thought it was something. I thought I saw something. Bro, I freaked out. I think I'm just gonna go back. I can't do this. I'm sorry, I can't. I s run, BT. What the fuck? Okay. What was that? 3D Paranormal Events Caught on Camera
This is how you spot a skinwalker. On May 6th of 2020, a YouTube channel by the name Gemini Home Entertainment uploaded a survival video. And it was pretty basic until it started to demonstrate the dangers of nature, calling one specifically an auditory hallucination. You can see someone camping when all of a sudden they begin recording what seems like a man calling out for help. But if you take a closer look, there's definitely something off about this guy. To this, the video says, don't approach it. If you hear it, they have already heard you.